Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the curtate life function, which is the floor function of a lifetime random variable. Given a future lifetime random variable tx, define the curtate life random variable by the formula. So we'll define k sub x is the integer floor of tx. So if tx is between 0 and 1, the curtate will be identically equal to 0. If t is between 1 and 2, and the curtate function kx will be equal to 1. One more example. If we're between 2 and 3, then the curtate function will be equal to 2. In particular, we can generalize this and say that if tx is between k and k minus 1 for a positive integer k, then this implies that kx is equal to little k. And so what we'd like to do now is now we have a sense of what this function does. It caps off the random variable. We can ask the question, what is the expected value of kx? The expected value of kx is written as e sub x with no circle on top. Recall that the circle, the expected value of just tx itself, the continuous random variable, is just ex circle. So we're interested in understanding this function, the, the integral of the floor. And so what will this be? Well, we have that ex will be, remember that k only takes an integer values from 0 to infinity, so this will be the sum k goes from 0 to infinity, up to the expected value, say it's k, and then times the probability that, the probability that the curtate life is equal to k. And so let's examine this probability carefully and see what we get. So the probability that kx is equal to k is the same thing as the probability that tx is between k and k minus 1. So for any value between k and k minus 1, we will have the kx is equal to k if and only if we're in this range over here. So what we can do is we can write this probability in several different ways. The easiest way to write this is to say this is the probability that x survives k years. And then within the next year, now your age x plus k, you die. And when there's no subscript here, so if we write qx, 1 will always be written just as qx. So when there's a 1, you will drop the uh, first subscript. We can also write this as the probability that you survive k years minus the probability that you survive k plus 1 years. So this is the probability you survive k plus 1 years. And this representation over here will be helpful when we're trying to evaluate this series. Another notation for this is simply just, we can write this as, this is also equal to a bit of notation, this is qxk bar. So we can write this expected value in the following way. We can write this expected value as the sum. Ex is the sum. k goes from 0 to infinity of k, and then k bar qx. And we can write this now as the sum k goes from 0 to infinity of k. And then we'll use this formulation over here to get a nice formula. k px minus k plus 1 px. And now let's write the first couple terms and see if we get some sort of pattern. So what we have is when we plug in k equals 0, we get nothing. When we plug in k equals 1, we get a 1. And then that would be times 1 px minus 2px plus 2, 2px two minus 3px, and then plus 3, 3px three minus 4px, etc. And from this, what we can see is we can see that we have a 1px 
Then we have a negative 1, 2px, and a plus 2 px. So there's a px, there's a, two p, a cumulative effect of 2px. Then I have a minus 2, 3px, and a plus 3. So we get exactly 1, 3px. So we can see, actually, that this is the sum. k goes from 1 to infinity of k. Px. So this formula over here is a representation of ex, or this function over this formula over here is another representation of ex, and they both represent the expected curtate lifetime of a person age x. Thank you very much.